Hello my guys, welcome to another episode. In this episode I have new parts for the 2000 Honda Core. I haven't opened this fully, but that's the hood and this is the front bumper. I'm replacing this because this is for the coupe. And you guys know that all the guys with four door Accords, they want the bumper from the two door. Especially because of the fog lights and it looks a lot better. That's the new bumper. It has the cutout for the fog lights, which is gonna look a lot better on the Honda Core. That's the original bumper, damaged, old, has a big crack in it. I'm gonna put the bumper first to see what's the difference between the four door hood compared to the two door. Let me jack up the car so I can get to the bolt and the pins on the bottom so we can remove this bumper. Place your jack right there in the middle. Jack, jack stands. Lock your rear tires. It's gonna give me access to the bottom bolt, so be careful with this step. Make sure that everything is secure before you go in underneath. Okay, the car is not going anywhere. Now let's start removing the bumper. If your bumper is in good condition, you will have a 10 millimeter here to remove, but my bumper is damaged. That's why I have this quick disconnect from the fender to the bumper. Makes it uh, easy to remove it and keep it in place. You're gonna have clips that I'm missing, one in here, one in here. Underneath, 10 millimeter right here, clip here, here, one in here, one in here, and the same on the other side. Remove all those, and then you can remove your bumper. And like I said, process is really simple. So let me remove all those. I'm gonna use a flathead screwdriver, 10 millimeter socket, and just get the bumper out. See how simple it is to remove the bumper. Now let me get a new one. Once I put a new one, let's see the difference between the coupe and the sedan. That's gonna give you an idea on how it's gonna look. Definitely, we need a new lip because without the lip, this one is gonna look just way too high. We need to work on that. I'm gonna order a lip. For now, I'm gonna have it like that because I know that lip is not gonna work with this bumper. Okay guys, kinda like it's in already. Gap is bigger in here. This one doesn't line up because my car, uh, it was in a crash before I get it. Uh, and they fix it and that's why this accord is salvage That one I need to put and find the other screw on the other side to line them up If it doesn't line up correctly, I'm gonna remove these ones make the hole in here so I can have my quick release bumper fasteners in here Now if I close the hood, let's see the gap Yeah, definitely you have a bigger gap that's why when you do this conversion, if it doesn't bother you, you can run like that. But that's why I get the hood because yes, the hood on the coupe is larger. You can see the gap right here. And this side is nice straight. I'm gonna straight it up so it fits better, but you see the gap. And I need to get fog lights. I ordered my fog lights already, so they're on their way. Once I get them, I'm gonna make another episode. Okay guys, next step is gonna be removing the clips on the hood strut. It has some little clips on top and on the bottom. I just need to remove the ones on top. 
get them out, remove the four bolts holding the hood to the car, put my stick back on it to hold it in place because I'm working by myself. So you can do this by yourself, but be careful because if you're not careful, you can scratch your hood or your car or hit your windshield. Be careful on this step. You have to pull the lines on your windshield washer fluid, but I already broke one, so I gotta get another one. Lines are being removed. This is the little clips. Okay, the new hood, it does have the holes. So I can put my straps back on the new one, which is a plus because I don't want to have a, this stick on it. I want to use my straps so the hood goes up and down really easy. Be careful with this step if you by yourself, I lower it on that side, so I just need to go on the other one and do the same process. Got it. Okay, I got the hood out, just gotta remove it. Oof. Next process is really simple. I have to remove the heat shield and the weather stripping on, on the front. Once I transfer all that to the new hood, we good. And I just wanna let you know, these ones are really old. Last time when I replaced them, I get some at the junkyard. You will break some, I broke one. But this tool makes everything so simple and easy. Even the insulation, I'm gonna replace it later because if you see on the front, I make cut when I was doing the pins for my hood. So that one is gonna get a new one. Probably if I found something decent at the junkyard, I'm gonna get it. For this piece, you can pull the water strip in one side and then the other side to remove it. For these pins, the best way is to twist it, turn it around until you release the clips. Okay, because what it's gonna do, you twist it and it's gonna release one side and then you twist it the other way to release the other one. Because if you pull it straight up, you will break them. Now that you have this piece out, that goes on the front, get all your clips, put them back on the first and you see right there how the hole is. Just put it in on one side, try to force it to the other one and it's gonna go inside. It's easy to um, have it on. You just have to pull it from one side and then the other. This one is already damaged, but uh, I might get another piece because this one is 
really damaged. It's old, really old. This one probably they're not gonna line up because this hood is larger. So the last two holes, they're not lining up with the new hood. Now let's see if this piece works. That will do for now. I think I'm gonna get new ones anyways. Everything from the inside of the hood is gonna be new. But for now, this will do. These ones are 12 millimeter. Okay, guys, now watch me struggle with this hood. Okay, wasn't that bad. Now I just gotta put, I think I'm gonna have to put my hood risers. I was thinking of not having this this time, but I realized that my oil touch gun is way too high in the allocation. Maybe I relocate it later, but for now I'm gonna have to put this on. Hood is on. Now I gotta put my struts back on it. Let's see if this hood close. I think I need to move the latch. Okay guys, for my car, this bolt, I lose all three. Those two and the one right there. This one, I have to put it that way a little bit. And this one, I went all the way up. The bottom one, I didn't move a lot, but if you can see the pain, I move it that way. Now the bolts are tight and that's the way I adjust it to fit this hood. You do have to do some adjustments, so now let me show you. Once I get the fog lights, that's gonna be in a few days. Fog lights are coming, I'm gonna order a new emblem on the front. Adjustment is not bad, but this car is salvaged. Not much that I can do but I need to change some stuff on the front and I think the bar on top, I need to straighten it up so we can have a better fitment in here. Doesn't bother me a lot. Look at the front now. Once I get a new lip, fog light, new emblem, I'm gonna start doing the rest of the car. This one is gonna have to go, painting the calipers. Hopefully I can get new wheels soon and I'm gonna redo the wrap because it's kind of messed up on some uh, some edges, like right here. It's getting messed up, so I gotta work on the wrap. Get this black blacked out. It's gonna be really good. Interior is gonna be blacked out to new seats. Everything's gonna be black in the interior, exterior. So we're going for um, a little bit more stealth mode, but more classy as well. There you have it guys, let me pull the car out so you can see it. Car looks amazing, I love it. The front end just, it looks more aggressive. Once I get that lip, man, I'm telling you, it's gonna be super aggressive.
leave you with that what do you guys think this is my episode for this christmas merry christmas to everybody the new uh accord looks amazing and once i get the fog lights and the lip game changer little by little i'm gonna start changing everything i'm gonna black everything out and uh, i gotta tint my windows again the thing was messed up so i remove it uh, i might do the headlights again on this one because the ones that i have with the sticker bomb the crazy ones they're not gonna match with this new setup but there you have it i mean ah, i love that car if transmission go out engine go out we're just gonna replace them this car is not going anywhere maybe later on we do some upgrades and more power we'll see we'll see where we go with this one I hope you like this little episode guys, I'm super excited for this one and thanks for watching. If you have questions, comment down below, I'm going to be happy to help and I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe. Mm.